The purpose of this short video is to review the six month inventory check and the monthly operational check for your public access defibrillator, otherwise known as PAD. The PAD we'll be demonstrating in this video is the Philips OnSite. Unfortunately, EMS expertise is limited to this model. We endorse any PAD that is Health Canada approved. Presently, there are three PAD setups in Quartha Lakes. First is a large white rescue case. The second is the small white rescue case. And the third is the red mobile responder case. In each setup, the Philips on-site defibrillator is found in the specific case or cabinet. EMS supplies all registered pad sites with a yellow check sheet. This is designed for two functions, the initial and six month inventory check and the monthly operational checks. We recommend that the yellow check sheet be kept with the public access defibrillator. The best place is in the plastic envelope that adheres to the top of the large or small white rescue case or contained within the bottom of the red responder case. The yellow check sheet has two main functions. On one side of the page, you'll notice there are six month inventory checks and on the other side are the 12 month operational checks. We feel the best time to start the process is in the fall of each year when the clocks move back one hour. At that time, you'll do an inventory check of your public access defibrillator to make sure all the consumable parts will not expire and that the machine is operational. The second inventory check should be completed in the spring of the year when the clocks move forward one hour. This will separate the two inventory checks by six months. The other side of your yellow check sheet has the monthly checks and this should be done on the first day of the month when you are at the pad location. Simply just check to make sure the machine is blinking green. That is all you need to do to do the monthly operational check. Completed yellow sheets should be kept on file at your pad site and we would like a copy forwarded to EMS via mail, email, and or fax. The reason for this is to be able to prove if required that the pad is checked frequently. We will now go through the steps of the six month pad check. The first step is to document your location, the date, the type of AD or public access defibrillator you have, the serial number which is found on the back of the defibrillator, and the contact person at your location. The rescue case type, it's either the large white box, the small white box, or the red mobile response case. Check that the green light in the public access defibrillator is flashing. That means it's operational. If your AD is wired to an alarm company, have it taken offline. Replace the nine volt battery or batteries. There are two located in the large white case inside the top area. And on the small white case, on the left side of the case, you will notice that it takes one single nine volt battery. Ensure that at the back of the response case, there is a post pad use booklet and a stop sign. These two items are important if there's a problem with your defibrillator. A hands-on inspection of the public access defibrillator to ensure there's no damage to the exterior. Check the electrodes in the battery for expiry dates. Only change the electrodes or battery if they are expired. Remove the battery and reinstall it to perform a self-test. Replace the battery and follow the prompts of the public access defibrillator. It will coach you to push the orange button, do as it directs, and then let it go through a two minute test. Upon completion of the test, it will shut itself off and say it's ready to go again. Self-test, in case of emergency, press the green on-off button. Verified. Testing ready for use. In case of emergency, press the green on-off button. Check the content of the fast response kit. It should have in it a pocket mask, razors, gloves, and scissors. At this point, check your pad site for signage. Simply check the main doors to ensure there are stickers identifying it as a pad location. We should be looking for highly visible signs near the pad device and also on washroom, lunch rooms and other common areas. 
At this point, the six month inventory check is completed. To perform the monthly checks, simply look at the public access defibrillator and ensure the operational or status light is blinking green. If a problem is found with your pad, for example, expiring electrodes, batteries expiring, or the pad is not blinking green, simply call EMS at 1-866-856-3248. Tell the answering service your name, your phone number, and the location of your pad site. Somebody will call you within about 15 minutes and help you to solve the problem. EMS has replacement parts for the Philips on-site public access defibrillator. If one of your consumable parts, battery or pa electrodes are expiring, we will simply invoice you the price of the part. EMS has loaner pads for sites who are required to send their public access defibrillator back to the manufacturer for repair. If it will be a lengthy repair, the manufacturer will send us a loaner. Pad sites will be responsible for the repair invoices received from their pad manufacturer, as well as the cost of consumable parts. The only time that EMS will invoice a pad site is if we must invest greater than three hours to solve your pad problem. The hourly fee for our time will be based on the wage of the individual helping you. Our focus will be merely cost recovery. The reality of this scenario should be remote now that we've shown you how to perform your own site's preventative maintenance program. In the case of a true emergency at your pad site, EMS will provide services for free. This will be for times when your machine is broke and or if there is a true cardiac arrest at your location. We would welcome you to review other pad site videos and PowerPoints that we have posted on our city website. Thanks.